hi guys welcome back to our channel yeah this is your girl african maisha yeah so guys they will tell it come for a tour yeah and i want to tour with you guys there so yeah we've come for a tour yeah we are gonna be seeing the crocodiles yeah you're gonna be seeing some types of animals or you know yeah we've come for a tour so as i'm talking right now we are gonna be slipping to the lake yeah the road you're seeing here it is the road that is taking us to the lake here yeah, so we are gonna be seeing some water yeah we are gonna be seeing nature yeah so guys hope you enjoy with me yeah <coughs> This ones. Yes, this one is. These ones are one year, two years. Oh. They're having some rest. They are sleeping during the what will they be doing during the night? Are you sure? This one just one year. They've just been explained. Growth from the young ones. Sometimes they will be here when they are like ten months. So these ones here are the ones that lay eggs. Okay. Those ones have been the growers and these ones is like the breeding stock. Oh. Yeah, they are, they are old and this group they generally only lay eggs once a year. Only once a year and they can lay like around 20 to 30 eggs. And their eggs are big, actually, like twice bigger than the egg of that chicken. These ones are big, they are old. Uh, 
How old are these? These ones they are like in teens. You can't see the spy each one again, but they're in teens, they are pretty old. Check the other and in water. You can even see it's laying. It is even long. So they can even be in soil. So how do you manage getting the other ones out of the soil and then you bring them in the water? They, them they take themselves the in water. They take themselves there and they bring themselves back. Take the other one is your knee. No, it's, it's maybe suspecting the other around. So that's oh. why it's, it's that's opening its it. mouth. But they can really walk fast. They just crawl. Mm-hmm. If they walk, it can lift its body. Are you sure they walk? Can I just clean it? Okay, not like crawling. I think they just r- mm-hmm. like crawl. It its legs. Like it a snake. The four legs and then lift it. Supports itself a little. Then move. It's not really like a snake crawling all the way. Oh. So the water, you treat the water. Yeah, we treat the water. Mm-hmm. And we exchange it like after feeding. Okay. After feeding, we let it out and put in more. Okay. I want to keep this one. No. The third voice is that they feel that they, they respond around so that's why they are coming in. Me, I even thought they were yawning. Check that and opening its mouth. So when they are to produce, they produce from here as well. So how do you manage here with them? Like, like can they disturb you? Aren't they dangerous? They are I hope they are well. dangerous. Yes, they are dangerous in case you fall there. But if we don't disturb you, if you bring food, we just throw it there. They are always in pools. They can't jump out. So it's always safe. They can't jump out. That's one thing we are sure about. And once we are feeding them, we just stand here and throw food down. Mm. You don't have to go in there. I Obviously, thought you guys go in to and clean. then, yeah, you to clean this and maybe one is very dangerous. You just let the water out. But those small ones, you can go there and clean. They are less oh. dangerous. Okay, you can easily handle them. But these bigger ones, maybe they won't go. So here we just exchange the water. I mean, this thing can eat a person. Someone like me. Can it eat me? Someone bigger than me. <laughs> this thing, it can eat you. Uh, even if it's, uh, it's just one. Uh, But it is very dangerous. So even if it doesn't eat you whole, if it just bites you, you have higher chances of, uh, of dying. So it's better when even when we are touring, you're not allowed to put your hand down when it's supposed to and you will grab the hand. That's so they don't play, like playing with their mates? Rarely. One of it can lie in the same place like for hours, and maybe you think that it's it is just there. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
Thank you so much. Let me give you my mouth. Guys, all these are shells. Yeah, I've got to know that. Yeah, they get these shells. Yeah, from the lake, and then they take them in that building. Yeah, and then they crush them. Yeah, they crush them, and then they become a little bit powder, like powder, and then they give them to chicken, to hens. You know, chicken like hens, maybe turkeys. Yeah, so yeah, it, it acts as the feet for the chicken. Yeah, so they take it, they collect it as you can see. They have collected it in in different areas, like you can see that, you can see that, that. Yeah, so they're in different sections. So they collect them and then they take them and then they recycle and then they they make the chicken feet. So guys, that's some other kind of fishing method. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is that which is called using books. So they're trying to use the books for fishing.
As I told you, the waves are too heavy. They are too heavy here. That's why you can see the water.
Gwejanga ya wete nyanje etidamu. Ete nyanje etidamu. Yoko kwa 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 kwa